good morning i just woke up like two minutes ago oh my god it's so early um i'm going to actually go and get a psychic reading so there's a woman on the gold coast i think her username is ground grounded psychic or something like that i'll post about it anyways um but yeah she's pretty like well known here on the gold coast and i've never had a psychic reading in my life and i've just been so intrigued so i'm going to go to her this morning at 8 45 and see what she has to say about my life and then i'm going to go do my tax Ugh, I hate doing tax i've left it so late so i just need to freaking do it so last night i did end up having um a decaf because i just felt like I felt like it's like my ritual now to have one around like nine o'clock. So I'm just putting that in the sink. I'm gonna make my fat burner. Oh, I'm so tired. I couldn't get to sleep until like 1 a.m. last night. So that's the fat burner. For those that didn't watch yesterday's vlog. Weirdos. Guys, I completely forgot to do my blood glucose reading. So I'm going to do it now for you guys. So obviously this is not like mandatory to do um, when you're on keto. But apparently over time using the strips aren't as accurate when you've been in keto for a while. So the most accurate reading you can get um, is through your blood. So I bought a blood ketone monitor from eBay. It was like $30, like so cheap. Um, came with like needles. Um, you had to buy the strips um, separately. But uh, if you go onto my Instagram under my ketone, blood ketone highlights, you'll be able to find out where I got everything from. By the way, I was like so nervous to get this because I was like, um, that's gonna hurt. It doesn't at all. Like it literally does the smallest, thinnest prick and then you gotta like squeeze the blood out. So, okay. I should have really done it before the fat burner, but we'll see. I'll just have a little like info thing about um, testing your blood ketones, but from 0 0.5 to 1.3 is means you're in ketosis and then i think above 1.3 is nutritional ketosis which is like you're burning more fat i think i'll leave it all here but as long as it's above 0 0.5 it means you're in ketosis so one of the reasons why people test blood ketones is for example if you're trying a new food and you're not sure if the sweeteners or the ingredients in the food are going to knock you out so you can just test this because it's way more accurate than peeing on the ketone strip. So, all right, so I've got my little monitor there like that. I'm gonna place this in. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab my finger and then squeeze the blood out. I know it's gross. Then. All right, so it just does a little countdown. One point seven, so that's pretty good. So I'm in nutritional ketosis. So I've found that every time I've tested, I've been over one. Um, most people can't get over one, but I think it's just because I am on a pretty strict diet plan. So. Um, I am on lower carbs than most people that would do um, keto.
day, eh? Why do I feel like I linger? Linger between the words to say, eh? To say the words you remember. Now we're here to take control over your body and over your soul. We're gonna take back everything and lose it all. Okay, just got here. A bit nervous now, actually. What the hell? That's weird. I never really get nervous. <sighs> All right, let's do this. Okay, I don't know where to go. Oh, I need to go to the toilet first. Okay, I'm going to try and film in there if she lets me. If not, I'll let you guys know how I go after. Okay, shuffling through yes, as in... Please. And then drawing three from anywhere in the pile. Okay. I did also look up your all your signs. Mm -hmm. um, so okay, we've got an unlikely, peaceful resolution, and compromise. So, as you know, your sun sign, you would know that already, um, as Capricorn. Yeah. Yep. Right. So that's Earth sign um, means you're quite grounded. You're um, quite ambitious. It means that. Um, yeah, you work really well independently and on your own. Mm -hmm. um, they talk about one year ago in the relationship. What happened one year ago that like your fate changed? I met my partner. That's one year ago? Okay, yeah. Oh, so, wow. Um, they're saying, yeah, this is a good thing. Um, even though you might feel it's still early days, they're saying better things are coming for you guys. Um, there's something about, yeah, the next chapter, and I feel like this is sort of, um, are you, this is like moving in together or living together. Are you doing this yet? Not yet. This is about to happen. <laughs> mm. Okay, so this is coming. Um, yeah. They're saying this is sort of coming over Christmas, like you'll start to kind of go, yeah, we want to do this. Um, this is the next sort of step and you'll start looking. So by early next year, you'll be living together. How do you feel about that? <laughs> That's what we kind of planned. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> <Sort of. laughs> also, your aura holds a lot of yellow up and around here and yellow represents you being strong, independent. It means you're creative. Um, you've got an eye, as you already know, for like beauty, detail, <laughs> design, decorating, fashion. So it means you're a very visual person. Yeah. So even if I didn't know anything about you, um, yeah. your aura would give it away that you're in um, some sort of creative um, uh, career. It shows that um, you beauty is important to you and like you always look after your appearance mm -hmm. and that you have beautiful things at home and... Um, yeah, you have a real eye for beauty. So the other side of you is this pink across the heart chakra. Pink shows that you're um, you're a loyal person and you, you want loyalty above anything else. Um, it means that you're an empath. And empath is someone... We're on the romance card again. Mm -hmm. Empath is someone um, who's sensitive to other people's energy and emotions. So it means when you meet someone, you have this like instant knowing of whether you like that person or not. Yep. And yellow in your aura is really strong, so that's showing that huge successes are coming for you in business. Awesome. Yeah. Um, pink also shows your self-love, like your relationship with yourself. Um, why do I feel like you're only starting to kind of really love yourself now? I feel like you didn't always love yourself before. I because feel like I've recently lost like 25 kilos. Wow, 25. Good Over, over like two years, but yeah, like... Great. Yeah. Wow, yeah. It's this would been... make sense. Because I feel like you're only just starting and you've still got more to go mm -hmm. on self-love and self-worth. But I feel like you're really starting to embrace it now. Yeah. I feel like you almost didn't didn't want to pay yourself any attention or didn't no. like things about you. So you sort of just ignored it and you ignored yourself and how you felt. Mm -hmm. um, Definitely. Yeah, this was hard. Um, but good on you because I feel like you're starting to really step in and, and feel empowered and um, mm -hmm. starting to own and love yourself that bit more. Yeah. Yeah, the pink also shows that your relationship, um, as in a romantic relationship, it shows that you're in love. It shows a good thing. Yeah. Um, it, yeah, I feel like you're happy and you're excited about where it's going. And that's come up again. So they're saying remain mm -hmm. positive. Do you doubt this at times? Or you just being bit, positive? No, do you doubt the relationship or are you a bit um, fearful? A little bit because mm. he doesn't live here. Yeah. So it's just it's a it, it'll be a big move for me. Yeah, yeah. Um so that's just in the back of my mind, if it doesn't work out then yeah, it'll be a hassle scared. to come all the way yeah. back again. Yeah, but sure. I'm I don't doubt the relationship. No, like good. I, yeah, no. Good. 
because they're saying, yeah, remain positive because um, better things are coming with this. Yeah. Um, what does he do with his hands? Is he some sort of tradesman or into... Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because I'm showing that he's busy yeah. um, and quite the handyman, which is a good thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah, when they talk about the, the move over Christmas um, or like knowing that you're going to go, what, what does this mean? Are you actually moving over Christmas or are you sort of going to nut it out and then look for something? Like what is that? Well, we're going on holidays at the end of the year and yeah. we get back in January. Okay. So... Yeah possibly like after yeah okay perfect work it out. yeah yeah it's good it feels right and it feels strong okay. i have a three sweetheart where's your dad um here yeah do you not have a great relationship with him no, no. um because matters of the heart um with your heart it shows that you know, you're a bit closed off when they talk about you going away is this four weeks or what's happening at four weeks they're saying in four weeks Four weeks to do with the holiday. What's happening? They're saying four weeks. Um, well, I'm going to Perth in three weeks yeah. for two weeks okay. just to visit. And then we leave on the um, 9th of December for six weeks. Six weeks. Okay. And they're saying something happens at four weeks while you're away. Oh, um, okay. Whether that's you're shifting to a new place, but they're saying something really positive at four weeks okay. to do with the holiday. This isn't the first time you guys have travelled. There's something about you going away as as uh, with other couples or something. Yeah, we about? well last year when we met, we yeah. were on a Kentucky tour. Ah, okay, <laughs> so you met on it. Okay, yeah. awesome. Yeah, and there were like quite a few yeah. of you all getting along well. Yeah, are these people coming to meet you on the holiday or something as well, or some of them? Um, no. Okay, no. So just you two. Yep, just us doing Blue. another tour and then going around America and Canada. Okay, there's something about you guys meeting another couple. Um. So you don't know them yet, but mm -hmm. you're going to meet another couple and sort of really hit it off and spend a bit of time with them. Not too much time, but okay. <laughs> a bit cool. of time, um, you know, just going for dinners and yeah. um, exploring and things like that. Another three cards, sweetheart. But um, is your partner um, quite into health or fitness or something? Yes. I feel like he's mm. <laughs> is he quite muscular. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I feel like he is... Um, in, into that does he do any modeling there's something about camera work <laughs> he always jokes about like being a model but no <laughs> okay no. well that wouldn't surprise me if it starts happening next year oh um, god i know you'll never hear the end of it um <laughs> yeah, the situation will improve trust and yes um i guess when they talk about work um there's something about you going to travel away to be asked to be like a guest appearance or something. Has this come up already? Yeah, it has. Okay. An opportunity has come up, but yeah. I, didn't, I didn't take it at that time, but no. it's definitely something yeah. I would. There's another one coming up, um, but you would take this next one because the cards are saying yes. Um, then it's only, I feel like you only wait for a couple of days or something like that. It's okay. not like a it's not months upon months. Um, they do talk about May. There's something about travels in May. Next, next year. year. Yeah. Um, around work. That's Okay. Yeah, around work. I'm showing this like salon or um, I feel like you're going to be working there and then there's like other beauticians or hair and it's like this pink, pink place. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> well, I've always wanted to open up my own salon some, yeah. some time. Yeah. And pink is my favourite colour. Is it? <laughs> Baby pink. Beautiful. <laughs> okay. People want to hear your story, I'm mm -hmm. feeling. Is that already happening? Yeah. Yeah. It's like you, you're needing to share your story um, and this move and everything that's coming up for you, um, opportunities to go work away, you need to be um, sharing this with everyone because, yeah, it's it's a lifestyle that's changing and that interests people and mm -hmm. this is how you're going to get more and more um, successful. There was issue in your solar plexus to, to do with self-worth, self-identity, um, self-esteem I feel like this is getting much better but yeah there was that blockage a few years ago and there's some sort of reference to um, either overeating or under eating overeating over e emotional eating you mean yeah um, and that was to do with the self-worth and everything like that and I don't ever see you going back to that again okay thank god are you scared of falling back into that habit yeah it's not gonna happen you're not you're not to worry mm -hmm. um, I'm not scared because I'm so passionate now about mm. health and fitness like I've made a separate account yeah. inspiring heaps of people which is Good. amazing but um, I don't know there's just something at the back of my mind where I'm just like oh will I fall off no. and okay good yeah no you won't it's going to be they're saying a child 
Um, you're going to have, you're probably going to kill me saying this, but you're going to have a boy first. <laughs> you want a girl I'm, first, don't you? I <laughs> mind. Okay. There's going to be a boy first. Um, you will have a girl second. So, but the first will be a boy. Cool. Um, but you, you guys will always do a lot of travel with the kids. Mm -hmm. um, 30 to 31 is when you'll be having your first child. Um, that makes sense. Yeah. I'm just, I'm not ready. No. Like, and either is he. No, no, you're not ready. That's so much as that. Um, okay. The way your career is going, it's like you won't have time. And people will be saying, oh, when are you going to have start a family? Mm -hmm. When are you two doing this? When are you two doing that? Um, but just because your business is, is going to really take off even more so, it's like you don't have the time. So, mm -hmm. yeah, 30, 31 seems to be when you'll be having children. Makes and you'll, you'll be ready by them. Yeah. I don't know if this is like a sponsorship car or something or um, or something that's on loan for you to promote, but I'm showing this really nice white car. Mm. Um, I'm shook. I cried. Oh, I did not think it was going to be like that. That was amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I honestly cannot believe she said some of the stuff that was true she made me cry i don't cry especially over certain things that i wouldn't ever cry about um she told me things that i've like i know i've never posted online like that's what i was a bit worried about because i reached out to her through my instagram so she obviously could like sort of gauge what I was what, like who I am and what I do like before the reading so that's why I was like oh you know she could just like go skim through my videos kind of like get a gist of who I am and then do a reading from that but she mentioned things that I know I've never posted about and it was scary I'm not saying I didn't have high expectations but I'm not really a spiritual type person so like I'm not really into that so that's why I'm just shocked because just wow <gasps> wow mind blown so I'll leave her Instagram down below if you're on the Gold Coast and want to check her out wow like highly recommend if you if you want to know about your future I guess and yeah I just I couldn't believe it <laughs> I cancelled my tax appointment because CBF um, I wanted to, I just have other things to do today, but I need to go take some stuff to the post office, go and collect my post, and then yeah, I'll show you guys what I get um, if I get any parcels. So I just went to the post office to pick up a parcel. My boyfriend's mum, who lives in Perth, um, sent me over some beef jerky. I think it's the Harvey Harvey Bay's beef jerky, but. We don't have them here in Queensland, so I was like, can you please send me some? Oh my god. Yay! She sent me like one, five packets. So this is the Harvey Bay Hickory Smoked Jerky, and these are the macros on the back. So literally for the whole serving of 50 grams, there's one gram of carbs, one gram of sugar. The beef jerky here have like five grams of carbs per serving and there's usually like three or four servings in like a little packet so these are like the best i've found um macro wise so thank you so much marnie yay now i can have them as um snacks on my meal plan because i keep skipping that snack because i haven't found one with good macros but now i can um oh she put in some oh she is a doll she knows how much I love um, like hair ties and scrunchies and ribbons and stuff. She got me all of these. Guess what? I already have this one. So she knows me way too well. I might put this in my little giveaway. That one is super cute. Oh, she's amazing. Oh, this one is so cute as well. Miss you, love you. Oh. You're so cute. Lego. You have hit your goal of 16 hours. I am ready to eat. Now, I'm not actually like hungry. Like, it's weird. But like, 
I probably could go like another hour or two, but like I'm bored and I'm craving those pancakes, so I'm so excited. All right, so this is what you need for the pancakes. Three eggs. 50 grams of cream cheese. I just get this one from Aldi. I weigh it on here, put them all in here and blitz it up. All right, so I've got my three eggs in here. I'm gonna cut 50 grams of this. Fifty-three, that'll do. Some cinnamon. Alright, this is my blender. Sorry if it's a bit dark. Blend that shit up. Let the mixture rest for like five minutes or so. Gonna spray the pan with some olive oil. It says 10 grams of butter. I like to drizzle that over the top when the pancakes are done. So I just get this, like it's a little like silica mold, um, and measure 10 grams of butter, put it in the microwave and melt it. So I'm just gonna get some butter. All right, that's 10 grams. So we're gonna put that in the microwave for like 30 seconds, but I won't do it yet. I'll do it when it's like almost done. All right, let's make this shiz. So I usually just make little ones about that size. It makes about six or seven. that I use so it is very low cal no sugar or carbs you can get one from Coles um, I think I like to taste that one better but I just got this one from yeah a grocery store in Isle of Capri so when it's like starting to bubble then I flip it And that's pretty much done. Spray a bit more. And repeat six or seven times. All right, this is my last pancake. I put the melted butter on top. Yum. Now I'm gonna put some of this on top. Fucking yes. Look how fucking good these are. Like, what? All right, let's dig in. was fucking amazing every single time i could honestly have that every day for the rest of my life like i've had it for pretty much four weeks straight not every day but most days um what am i doing today i am doing my emails i didn't do much yesterday need to get through them edit this vlog and another makeup video that's going up tomorrow it feels weird not going to F45 in the morning, so I'm so used to it. So I'm going to go at 5 p.m. It's a weights-based class, so I'll try, try, try get them to film a few um, workouts that I do tonight. But usually 5 p.m. is a bit busy, so I understand if they can't. Maybe I can just like put my camera on a ledge somewhere and then just time-lapse it or something if they can't. Um, but yeah, I'll try to do that for you guys today. 
But yeah, I don't really have that much planned. I need to like chill out because I've just been like go, 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 go every day. Um, and according to my psychic reading, I have to just take some time out and breathe, focus on my breathing because I'm always doing something. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna just kick back, relax, reply to your messages, reply to your DMs. Um, and I'll chat to you guys later. So I just got back from Coles and there's like a um, discount shop, like in the shopping center. So I just went for a little browse there. Um, I just got some like laundry stuff. I got this from Coles, it's an ice cube tray, but it's silicon so I can make like keto treats with it, which will be cool. I found this at the um, discount store. It's an eight piece lolly mold. I don't know why it says lolly mold when it's clearly popsicle. So I think I might put some Nexper in it. I reckon that would be really cool for summer. These are the Danish butter that I'm obsessed with, the garlic one. So they had a special, I think it was $2.50 each. So I got two of them. And then I got from the discount shop a egg slicer for my Caesar salads and like my egg snacks if I don't want to have a whole egg. But yeah, I don't have one of these, so I thought I would pick it up. I got some sauce containers because I don't have small ones, so I just got a few of them. And finally, I just got these little mini bottle drippers. These mainly for traveling like my serums and stuff and i can use the other one for like um if i need the dropper for like oil if i'm making like keto treats because i've seen heaps of people use like little droplet things um so yeah that's my little haul for today unnecessary but Seriously, I can never like leave a discount store empty handed. They have like the coolest stuff. I think I might go for a nap. I had a pretty bad sleep last night, um, like broken sleep. So I might have a nap for two hours if I can. Um, and then if I'm feeling well, I'll go to F45. If not, I just won't go. I'll listen to my body. If I'm tired and run down, then yeah, I'll just skip it for today and just go tomorrow. But yeah, just thought I'd share what I got um from the shops and i didn't get any parcels i'm expecting a couple but maybe they'll come tomorrow because of the public holiday so yes i will speak to you guys later i'm in a cbf gym mood so i think i'm gonna take some pre-workout i've only ever taken it twice since i've had it and i feel like i need it so i'm gonna go and mix some up so this is the one that I'm going to use. It's the JFR Rage pre-workout. It's so yummy, the flavor. So last time I had like this much. It's like almost a full scoop. And then I'm just going to mix it with some water. It says it's recommended to have um, 30 to 45 minutes before. And it'll be exactly 45 minutes. I just find it so much easier drinking out of a shaker rather than a cup. I don't know why. <laughs> I'm so weird like that. Oh, all right. Off to the gym even though I cannot be bothered. This is why I go in the mornings because I get it over and done with. By the way, that tastes amazing. It's watermelon flavor. So good. I feel like I'm gonna hit that car. Oh, by the way, for those that have like messaged me asking what car I have, it's a Nissan Qashqai. <laughs> and that sort of sunroof, it's like a moon roof. So you can like, yeah, always have the roof open. Oh my God. So I just finished the weights class at F45 and I was right, it was really busy to film. But wow. I guess with the weights classes, it all depends on how much you choose to lift. Because that's obviously harder. Oh, I hate traversing out of this car park. But, yeah, I went to lift a little bit more heavy today. Um, because that's obviously how you get stronger. I really enjoyed that class, actually. It was really good. I'm going to go and uh, make my dinner now. I'm not even that hungry, to be honest. I might only have half of my dinner. I'm not sure. Hey guys, just got back from the gym. 
about to heat up my dinner. I have actually pre-made all the patties. So all I need to do is heat them up with some butter and an egg, which I've already boiled. 10 grams of butter. So I'm gonna take two patties out of here. They're both 100 grams each. I'm gonna use the garlic butter. Okay, so measuring 10 grams of that. Pop that in the microwave. Here's my egg. Oh my God, I'm so excited to use this. Okay, I'm gonna do it up close. Ready for the most satisfying thing you'll ever watch. I better not stuff this up. <laughs> Oh, how satisfying is that? <laughs> okay. Let's put the egg on pretty for the photo. That is dinner. Yum. So this is dinner. I'm actually so excited. So I just finished dinner. I'm gonna start fasting on my app. Shut up, Ali. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. So I'll be eating in 16 hours from now. Do you do fasting? Hey guys, so I'm now in bed. Just about to edit this vlog. Um, but yeah, that was today. Hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Um, let me know if you want to keep seeing more of these because I'll happily film them. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you tomorrow in tomorrow's vlog. Bye.